Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we're on the website of French Auction Portal in Saint-Cher and we're going to have a look at another French auction, this time by an auction house called Ariège, I think that's how you pronounce it. Not 100% sure, but I do like to get this uh, wrong quite a lot, so do let me know if I've messed that up. Anyway, this French auction, uh, it is due to finish on November the 18th. It's the 16th today, so a couple of days left to go. 22% is the buyer's premium, so that's what you pay on top. Uh, a real mixture of things, uh, 102 lots, actually quite a lot of brass stuff. I think this is someone's collection of instruments that's being sold off, so it's pretty random. Uh, we'll have a look and see what we've got. Probably nothing too crazy, but you never know, as I always say. Um, so this is a French auction, so bear that in mind if you're looking to bid. Um, shipping, import, export, all of these kind of fees, maybe CITES restrictions as well. Um, just to say, if you do enjoy these videos, please consider subscribing, like or comment. So without further ado, let's just have a quick look and see what we can find. Okay, first of all, we have a four piston sax horn from Kuzno and C got four pictures on this estimate 50 to 60 uh, euros there we won't uh, go too crazy uh, on all of the items but we'll definitely have a look at a few looks like they still got the same error here that if you change instrument it doesn't change the description which is unfortunate anyway a small three piston E flat flugelhorn by JTL 100 to 150 euros there what else do we have? A Courtois, three piston French horn, 50 to 60. I think a lot of this stuff is probably not really usable, to be honest, for a musician, but uh, might look good in a, an antique shop or a barn or something. Two piston bugle by P. Deslauriers at 30 to 50 on that. Uh, then we've got a lot of five instruments, including um, a bugle oh, and a toy trumpet. Let's have a look at this. 50 to 60, not on the, any other pictures of that. Another French horn here, 300 to 400. Marked Evette and Schaefer. Interesting, I can't really see how this can be worth three to 400 uh, euros, because surely it's just really probably not going to be playable, but you never know. Uh, and a filler side, that's interesting, with nine keys, two to 300 on that. I just I can't see it because all of these instruments just do not look like they're usable to be honest. Anyway, nickel plated metal cornet with three pistons, Guattro Cousineau 80 to 100, Melton Soprano slide trombone there 50 to 60. Two instruments, French horn and also a uh, some other instrument, some kind of bugle type thing here, cavalry trumpet they say. Kuzno and C 1925, 50 to 60, that's a bit more reasonable, I think, from the money point of view. A lot of three instruments here, sax horn, alto saxophone, sax horn, etc. Anonymous B flat tenor saxophone, they're 80 to 100, with kind of uh, deformations, as they say. Baritone sax form, a saxophone in E flat by Evette and Schaefer. 100 to 150. Uh, alto saxophone there, E flat by Rollet. A lot of five instruments again. Flugel horns and stuff. Genuine B flat tenor saxophone. 100 to 200 there. Okay, looks in a bit better condition than the other stuff. Sax horn here. So definitely someone liked brass, I think. Baritone sax horn here, 100 to 150. If anyone does watch this video who likes brass, please do let me know if any of these things are probably playable or usable or not, because I do have my doubts. Baritone sax, uh, sax horn here, 50 to 60. Four piston bass sax horn. B flat soprano sax royal artist. 50 to 60 on that. Uh, three piston double bass sax horn. Cavalry trombone. We see these occasionally. Tenor saxophone there. A lot of six instruments, including horns and hunting horns. Okay, 50 to 60. That's kind of an okay little lot. That's kind of quite sweet. 
lot of three cornets. These look in a bit of a ropey condition. A brass nephir. Okay, interesting. Maghreb, 20th century, 50 to 60. Pocket trumpet, this is pretty cool actually. Mark of Besson and Co. Mouthpiece is missing, that's pretty cool. Silver finish B flat bass saxophone there, Yvette and Schaefer. A lot of Yvette and Schaefer things in this auction. Wow, 1500 to 2000. I mean, yeah, interesting. I presume this is probably really rare or something. It's quite a high estimate. A lot of three instruments, some kind of trumpets, flugelhorn, etc. 80 to 100. So brass is not really something I know much about, so maybe some of this stuff is valuable. French horn and looks like a sax horn there. Pretty bad condition, 80 to 100. Two instruments there, French horns. And a lot of two instruments, three piston, trumpet. Something else there as well. Sax horns, more sax horns. Let's see, bugle from Kuzno and a flugel horn. Interesting. Let's see, Hilari three piston double bass sax horn, Yamaha slide trombone, baritone saxophone in E flat there, bass sax horn with four blades, four keys, a filler side again there, three to four hundred, by Martin Elder Son in Toulouse. Looks in probably a little bit better condition than the other one. Sax horn there and some other instrument there. Flugel horn. Double bass sax horn there. Trumpet there. Hunting horn by Chantilly 50 to 60. That's quite nice. Quite like those. Two instruments. Sax horn, etc. Ah, Helicon 50 to 80. Once again, looking in pretty bad condition there. Nickel plated metal trumpet. That's kind of curious. And an Amati Bell. That's cute. I've never seen that. What an interesting extension. That's kind of curious. On to the next page. Courtois slide trombone, euphonium in B flat. Oh, double or duplex horn. Yeah, there's some pretty odd things here. 800 to 1,000 euros. Inscription in patent 1886. Yeah, that's kind of curious. I've not seen one like that before. So that is quite interesting. York sousaphone, 3 to 400. Just in everything is in really bad condition. I just can't see how they usable really. Anonymous sousaphone, a Marty double bass sax horn, felt clang trumpet there, Twang Courtois trumpet, alto saxophone Besson, alto saxophone King Cleveland, trumpet Besson, harp nickel plated E flat saxophone, right B flat clarinet bohem system. Another B flat clarinet and another one, another one here, so quite a few of those. Echo chromatic uh, bandonian there, diatonic accordion, Hona accordion there, and a cock chromatic accordion, troubadour, a few other ones here, nothing too crazy. Eight string flat back mandolin, that's pretty normal, Stando, standard banjo mandolin there. Another mandolin and some kind of banjo uh, mandolin type thing. Nothing too exciting there. Sitar in poor condition, 80 to 100. Okay. Uh, a lot of eight symbols, including four broken. Okay, interesting. So these are kind of like cornet or cornetto type things I think uh, interesting 
200 to 300 yeah these are quite actually interesting uh, as things go quite nice 2 to 300 an oud here so we've moved away from wind instruments doesn't look too crazy 8 string mandolin folk guitars some standard guitars nothing crazy double bass Eberhard Meinl from Mark Newkirk in 1980 five to 600 it's got a bow as well nothing super crazy there a load of these zithers I'm not a fan of accessories Hona accordion there diatonic accordion slide trombone another slide trombone child's violin quarter size it's your standard trade thing there Medifino another standard trade instrument there uh, 20th century German violin a Marty label actually quite nice uh, back on that that's not too bad but uh, once again fairly standard kind of thing at least the estimate is not too unreasonable there Roland electronic drum kit there Yamaha piccolo old violin that just looks like a fairly generic trade instrument I think yep nothing too good there and I think that is it I think these other pictures are just the collection as it goes a lot of kind of beat up kind of brass stuff really here's some more pictures I just don't I don't know some of these prices I think are highly optimistic um, but I could be wrong a couple of curious things that I've not seen uh, before but otherwise to be quite frank not the greatest of auctions but anyway it's good to look at all of this uh, stuff and uh, yeah, I'll put a link in the description as always. Check it out, see what you think. So thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.